hey python programmers welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to uh, see this win 10 toast library and we are going to use this to create a simple uh, application where we can get a specific push notification into our windows system at specific time so this is the library which we are going to use so i'll just quickly copy this and uh, make sure you have python installed in your pc okay then uh, you can this uh, you can use this uh, library so i'll just quickly open my vs code so as you can see we i have created already this uh, send push notification.py file here and then i'll just uh, open my uh, terminal here so here i have opened my terminal then i will just uh, paste that command that is pip install win 10 toast here okay so i have already installed this so as you can see it uh, it is saying it is already in your system if you don't have then it will take some time to get installed okay so now uh, let's wait for this as you can see now it got completed so now uh, here as you can see here in the documentation description that uh, this is an easy to use python library for displaying windows 10 toast notification which which is useful for windows geo application so if you are creating windows gui uh, application like using tkinter or any other gui framework then this will be a helpful library to use okay uh, in in your windows system so here uh, i have we have already installed this okay and then uh, now we are going to import this uh, like uh, toaster notify class okay so from uh, in your in your python code from uh, win 10 toast you have to import this class and then you have to create an object of that particular class okay so i'll just say uh, toaster okay toaster is equal to uh, toast notifier class okay so as you can see we have created an object of this right and then we are going to use this so we'll say toaster uh, dot uh, what is the function so that is a show toast function okay so i'll just say show toast function and as you can see uh, that a description it is saying that uh, we can have this kind of uh, parameters okay so we are going to use this uh, type of parameters and we'll give argument in this function right so uh, it is saying we can add title message then icon if you want to add then we can also add icon okay and uh, we can like say for how many time it can uh, display the message so uh, we can add the display time as well here right and also there is one other parameter that is threaded okay so here i'll just use the message title so i'll just say uh, gym notification so i'll just give this uh, title of our uh, notification and uh, also I will give the description that uh, you have to go gym at uh, at let's say 5 p.m. Okay, 5 or let's say uh, 4:47, right? 4:48, let's say. Okay, 4:48. Okay, so this is the uh, notification. So I'll just uh, run my program here. So I'll go in my terminal and. Uh, then I'll just say python and then send push notification.py and I'll just press enter and uh, as you can see that we got our notification okay so this is saying gym notification and also it was displaying the uh, message uh, description right so that was the thing I wanted to show and also now uh, we are going to create a simple application where we uh, will show that notification at some particular time okay so for that uh, we will import time here okay and uh, as you can see we imported time here and then uh, like we want uh, that message uh, at some particular time so until we get that message we'll just uh, use this while loop to run okay our code so i'll just say while true while true okay so it will run infinitely uh, right and then we are going to create a time format so let's say i'll just say time uh, okay time 
or we can say current time is equal to let's say time dot strf and we are going to create a format of time right so i'll say percentage h then percentage m for minute and percentage s for second right so if uh, current time is equal to equal to let's uh, let's say we want that notification at 4:49 okay so i will just give uh, because we are using 24 uh, like hours format then we need to say uh, 16 then uh, 49 uh, i'll say or 50 i'll say okay 50 uh, minutes and 00, zero seconds okay and if this is the uh, time then we want this notification okay so i will just say i'll just copy and uh, paste that okay i'll just do control x and i'll just paste that here and after that we are going to break this while loop okay because we we got our notification so we don't need this right so i'll just uh, let's say break this okay and uh, if this is not the case then we just pass right so we'll just pass okay uh like this pass uh, will get executed when we are not encountering this condition okay so here uh, also one mistake is here that we have to add uh, like colon here okay so i'll just add uh, colon okay and uh, okay so now it is looking good so i'll just run my program so i'll just say python uh, uh, send push notification dot pi and uh, it is already 657 so i'll just say 658 and i'll just run my uh, program again so i will just uh, run my program again and uh, here also we can uh, change but you you can all you can change that from your side okay so i'll just keep it as of now and let's wait for 458 okay so yeah let's wait for that hope this time we get our notification so we are waiting for 4 and 58 So as you can see at right 450, sorry 48, we got our notification, right? And if you can add some like uh, uh, seconds here, uh, so that notification will stay for that particular amount of time. So you can do that from your side. I hope you like this uh, simple and small project. I will try to add this kind of projects in my future videos as well. Uh, so stay tuned and I'll see the next video till then keep sharing keep loving bye bye